Hi, my name is Karen Kerr. I am your Stenograph District Sales Manager. Thank you for joining me. Today I am going to talk about one of the Case Catalyst feature enhancements that was included in version 19. We have had the OOPS format symbol feature available for many years, but in version 19, you now have the ability to customize the OOPS format symbols with up to 10 different categories. As a recap, or for those of you who are not currently using the OOPS format symbol, the inclusion of the invisible OOPS format symbol automatically designates an item as a hotspot. A hotspot is an item in the transcript that you want to double check or you want to fix. All these hotspots can be viewed in the hotspots pane during real time or while editing. The hotspots pane makes it very simple to quickly identify and navigate to. The OOPS format symbol is used for a variety of purposes. Think to yourself, how do you quickly distinguish between check spelling, check audio, leave a note for a scopist, or remind yourself to get a document? Or, depending on which options you select, the software might automatically insert OOPS format symbols to note where you replaced or defined with a live suggestion, where you have aborted a power define, or where an accelerator was invoked. For today, we are going to concentrate on the first four items listed. Now, in version 19, you have up to 10 possible categories which you can personalize with the name and color. Having a way to differentiate between OOPS format symbols and categorize them, and the ability to sort them in the hotspots pane can make editing a lot easier. Each category name can describe the type of information for which you use the OOPS format symbol. You can also assign a different color to each OOPS category. In addition to the availability of OOPS categories, everything you need can be categorized and sorted in the hotspots pane. So let's look at how that is going to work. Let's say you want the following categories, one to check a spelling or spellings before everyone leaves, another to check the audio, and one to ask your scopist to do some research, or one to ask an attorney for a document. To assign a category and a color to OOPS, here's what you do. At Manage Jobs or anywhere in Catalyst, click Tools, All Options. Once the All Options dialog box opens, on the left side of the box, select Edit Panes and then Hotspots. To assign a category name, double click the category number you want and, the, and type in the name you want to use in the right hand column. To assign a color, click the down arrow and select a color. Repeat that process for all the different categories you want to create. To save and close the OOPS options, press OK. You may want to insert or modify dictionary definitions for your OOPS categories so that you can insert specific OOPS categories from the writer. You will create a different dictionary entry for each unique OOPS category. To define a steno stroke as OOPS, open your personal dictionary and press Ctrl plus I. At the steno field, type your preferred steno. For example, you may want to write odd odd as a reminder to check audio. In the next field, click on the FS button to display the format symbols. Then press O or scroll down to OOPS and double click on it. When the OOPS category dialog box opens, enter the number of the category you want. The name of the category will then display. Click OK. You can then decide whether you would like to add text to appear at that specific spot in the transcript so that there is a visible notation. Or you may choose to solely have the invisible OOPS symbol. That is your choice. Your dictionary entry may look something like this. When displaying the hotspots pane in edit or real time, you can easily sort the entries by category. If your hotspots pane is not open, click on View, Panes, Hotspots, and then simply click the Type column and the entries will sort in either ascending or descending order based on the alphabetic name of the type of category displayed in hotspots. 
You can easily navigate to a specific hotspot by merely double clicking on the item in the hotspots pane and it takes you immediately to that spot in the transcript. I want to thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to view my webinar. I hope you found it informative and beneficial. If you would like more information on Case Catalyst or any of our other products, please give me a call or drop me an email. My contact information is listed below. Again, thank you and I look forward to working with you in the future.